This is my student support system. Keep watching, keep learning. Now the next part is bronchial tree. Why we call it a tree? Because its structure is like this. Uh, because it is branched like a tree. The two primary bronchi are formed when the trachea divides at about the level of fifth thoracic vertebra. The right bronchus and the left bronchus. The right bronchus is wider and shorter and more vertical than the left bronchus. It is approximately 2.5 cm long. After entering the light rung at the hilum, it divides into three branches as secondary bronchus. The left bronchus, this is about 5 cm long and narrower than the right one. After entering the lung at the hilum, it divides into three branches, one for each lobe. Uh, sorry, two branches, one for each lobe. And this, this at this level, it is known as secondary bronchiole. The bronchiole wall are composed of the same tissue as the trachea and are lined with ciliated columnar epithelium. The primary bronchi progressively subdivide into secondary bronchi that is for lobes, tertiary bronchi then to bronchioles, smaller pathway, terminal bronchioles, respiratory bronchioles, alveolar duct and finally alveoli. So this divides in this way. Okay, so here it is the picture of left bronchus where it first divides into two secondary bronchus and then tertiary bronchus and then two bronchioles. The wider passes are called conducting airway. So up to here it is conducting airway because it is not allowing exchange of gases but after that it allow exchange of gases and these are known as respiratory pathway or airway as the bronchi divide and become progressively smaller their structure changes to match their function the bronchi contain cartilage rings like the trachea but as the airway divides these rings become very small and at the bronchiolar level there is no cartilage present in the airway as the cartilage disappear from the airway walls it is replaced by smooth muscles this allow the diameter of airways to be increased or decreased through the action of autonomic nervous system regulating the airflow within each lung the ciliated epithelium is gradually replaced by non ciliated epithelium and then finally simple squamous epithelium. My student support system. Keep watching, keep learning.